Okay, good day. Today I will uh, teach you how to create or how to optimize a simple script. Just like this, the RKL tutorial. As you can see, uh, it's 0, 0.0 MS, this one. To show this, you need to type press mon 1. 0 to hide, 1 is to show. And you can use that. You see, that's all my uh, scripts. So, I click some draw text. So this is for the coordinates. Or you can use this in many, many features in your script jobs, uh, vehicle. Uh, it's important that if the player is idle or if the script is idle, it's not uh, this one. The MS is not moving. And when you come nearby, it should be like that. Uh, less than 10 or less than 0 0.1. So when I press E, so I trigger the event. I just put some print. Print is very good. It's super good when you are doing some testing on your script. So this is how I do it. So I create a function draw text or you can use the any input or the oxlib or the oxlib what you call that uh, show text or any text that you want to show. And this is what you're going to do. First, you need to create a thread. After that, uh, when you are going to a, a draw text or in a marker, make sure you are in a, a while loop, especially when you're doing the control press. Because if it is not in the loop, it will not work. It will work once, but the second try, it will not work. Okay, so I will explain the codes for you. So this one is a variable. You can put any anything here, even your name, etc. But I rather use the slip. So it means if it is idle, it's slip. Or it is slip, then you put 1,000 means uh, one second. Every one second, it will call the script. Okay, and then the player position. This is also a variable. Okay, variable is where you store the value. Example, this is a native one. You can search the 5M native, Lua. Get entity coords means uh, it will get your coordinates. This player pad ID is you. It is client side. Okay, client side. Make sure it is correct spelling and uh, case sensitive. Okay, you can check this on native. It is the same as get player pad, but the get player pad minus one is an old one they said it's slower this one is uh, the past fastest one i just put some comment i will explain it later now the coordinates so i put also an, another variable coordinates okay so this this is my uh, current location this one so if i'm going to move it here uh, copy the TX admin. I have a tutorial for the TX admin and paste it here so it will change the location. So the location is here now. No more uh, location here. So how how does it became uh, optimized? Uh, because I put here the slip and here is the weight. Because if I put uh, it zero, it will become like that. It will run like that. You see, it's zero point zero one. It's not idle anymore. Make sure that it is zero point zero or zero point zero one. So we put one thousand here, and uh, the logic here is the distance. I get the coordinates. This is the coordinates I put. And the player position, my position. So that's the proper coding of that. And then the distance, it will get your distance to the coordinates. So it said, if your distance is less than 2, it will run here. Until here. Or the whole one. It will go here. But if not, if not less than 2, it just stay. It will go back here. And go back there and go back 
here and again and again it will loop loop and loop until he meet this distance then if i have the distance from the coordinates equals to then it will appear you see the difference but if i put here is five or six it will show you see that's the distance from the coords coordinates or in your part now why did i put zero here because you need to uh, press the control right and this one is the draw text you can put anything here you want to put your uh, custom ui or anything then what happened if i press e this is letter e 38 you can see this in the you can search the 5m key binds you will you can check that and then this is what will happen it will it should type in your f8 this print is so good on testing a script sample put your event here okay so there's nothing here this is your f8 when i press e i press the e so it triggered the event here so to make it clear we put here the trigger event because it's not server side okay if you're going to trigger event in client side you you should put trigger event for client side if you want to put a uh, from server side you should put trigger server event that's the difference between one for server side so we put this in co in common then let's create an event register net event add add event handler function and make sure the register event and the event handler is the same oh. comma function that's it is it correct wait let me check my old one i almost forgot this uh, uh, the hood is it the same function doesn't matter let's check uh, let's put the beta RKL tutorial you can use anything this but we but try to remember it test event make sure it's inside the codes and then we will put it here and we will put it here and let's change this your event works so that's how it created. Let's check if there's a problem. So no problem. When I press E, so your event works. So it means uh, this one is pushing right here. If you have a uh, example, you want to put this one local text. I love RKL so you copy this one if you're going to put this in if make sure it's in local so it can read here then we put some comma here then press it here this is how you throw a variable to event then copy this text put this in function and let's uh, make this one so it should print this I love RKL let's check it so let's restart 
then press E. You see, I love RKL. So that's how you press it, okay? If, but if you want to concatenate your event works, then you put some space here, then come to double that, then the text. So it will it will say your event works. I love RKL like that. Like this. Press E and then you see it can it it called concatenate. Okay? So it is optimized and the event works. So that's it. So you see. So that if you are just idle, this this script is not running. But you can use aux target, q target, bt target for much better optimization. But most of them is using the old the old ways. Okay. So I give you some bonus example. What if I have many coordinates and many event? Okay, this is how you do it. So I just put this one. So I will put a comment for this one. And in my config, I put the config test. So change this. So the K is this one, the one. And the B is this one, coord, setting, title, description, props. Uh, we remove the props. Oh, okay, the description. And then, how can we change this? So, we go here. Make sure to know this one. The coords is the B dot coords. You will put B dot coords. Make sure it's inside the for loop. Okay, what if I want to change this? Press E, then space. Make the concatenate B that what do you want to put? Uh, title. So that's the title, okay? So the event, you can also put here the event. Let's change this event. Uh, the event is this one. This is the event. Then we're going to change this to B that event. Let's check if it didn't work. And the text, the description, I remove the description. Description. Yes, I love myself. So B that description. Make sure it is case sensitive. Okay, we need to remove this one. Or you can just put this, this is the text, then put it here. Okay. So let's check if it, it will work. So this is the coordinates, the test. Let's check. Okay. So how can we make it dynamic? So the coordinates is gone because I changed it. So we put the coordinates here. So this is the PBP lobby. Press E for PBP lobby. Okay. We put another one. When you're going to add another, okay. I forgot. We need to press E. So press E. So yeah, the, your event works. I love RKL. So the next one is we put chords here again. And you're just going to copy that one. And make it number two, and then copy your coords. Then let's put here my work test event two. I love RKL two, so we have test event two. Okay, so let's make that you see my work, and the other one is PBP lobby. When I press it here. Nothing happens, but when I press it here in the lobby, I love RKL because we didn't put this event. So we're going to create this event, or if you want, uh, if you want, you can do this one event only. It's the same, 
then I press it restart then I press E I love RKL and the second one I love RKL2 you see but you can do this also test event 2 and copy this one test event 2 hey hey so when I restart press E uh oh you see it's case sensitive it will not work if there's something missing press E I'll, hey hey I love RKL2 and this one I love RKL okay so we go back to our distance to make it 2 2 is the reliable one so it's only nearby PVP lobby I love RKL where is it it's my work I love RKL2 so it's different event and also it's super optimized when it's idle okay so this is how how it works so I will not put the codes so you're going to memorize it by typing it you can change the variables if you want you can change this one if you want another tree just put it here and make it three change it everything you want okay so that how it works how to optimize how to add uh, event how to make a function this one's a function how to what you call that how to pass a variable into an event so this is it it's a dynamic and optimized so I hope you learn so much by the way this city is a frontera city I will give you a bonus a bonus view I'm trying to make this one trying to make a MMORPG this is a simple showcase F to unmount, press A to make him blind. Also, I can summon. I can summon a tree. Come on, Jitsu Jitsu. Pang. <laughs> also, the magic. I will make it. Boom. You see that? I am the powerful one. like that and water explore ninjutsu <laughs> that's it hope you enjoyed the video make sure to follow subscribe and watch my other videos I will put more tutorial on this you can request for tutorial okay